Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Logitech K380 multi-device Bluetooth keyboard. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see how it comes packaged to you right here. I love their retail box and packaging. I love the color scheme they have going on. Anyways, we can learn more about this product straight from the box. We can type on anything and easily switch between three connected devices. And you can see the three yellow buttons right there at the top of our keyboard. This also works with Windows, Mac, Chrome OS, Android, iOS, and Apple TV. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see our safety and warranty information followed by the keyboard itself with a nice plastic wrap and cover on it, protecting it even in the retail box. We can see the instructions on the back to set the keyboard up, pull the tab away to activate the battery. You can see hold down for three seconds to pair in Bluetooth mode. And you can see we have three different Bluetooth options for three different devices. Then they have their web address if you need any help with Windows or Mac support. We have the Logitech option software for both of those OSs as well. And you can download it right there if you need to. Now let's go ahead, let's open up the keyboard and look at it in more detail. So here's the back side of the keyboard. You can see the pull tab we have to remove right there to reveal our batteries. And we have two AAA batteries right here. So let's go ahead, let's pull that out, push the batteries back in. Now you can see everything's all set and ready to go for us to put the cover back on. So just very gently line it up and snap it right back into place. Now let's flip it over to the other side and look up close at the keyboard right here. So check it out, you can see what we got with the Logitech logo and branding. You can see the three different input options and buttons right there. I just went ahead and pushed them. Hold down for three seconds to pair. You can see the layout for everything else. Really nice, everything looks great. Look at how thin and slim this keyboard is. A little bit thicker at the top where the batteries are, but you can see it from the side right there. Very nice, love the color, love having the gray, smoke gray and the yellow. Very easy to see the inputs to switch between them right there. So everything looks really nice. Circular keys, pay attention to that too. But there we go, now let's go ahead, let's try it out and connect it to some devices. All right, so I'm at my computer right now where we're gonna set up and connect to our new Bluetooth keyboard. So I went ahead, I held down the one key for three seconds to enter into pairing mode. Now we need to choose a device right here. So we're gonna add a new device. You can see the different options that we have right here. It's the first one, keyboard K380. We're gonna select that to connect to it. Here you go, you can see it's connecting right now. It says enter this pin on keyboard and press enter if needed. So let's go ahead, let's type that right now. 005177, enter. And there we go, we just successfully set up and connected to our first device. Really quickly, I wanted to point out that you can use the Logitech option software to control and further customize your Logitech products. So you can see we have a couple different options right here. Today though, let's go look at the K380. So this keyboard, we actually have a couple different buttons that we can customize right here. So you can see at the top, we have four different buttons we can customize. We can also choose to use F1, F12 as standard function keys if we want. But you can see if we select one, we have some quick options and then we have more options. You can see we can do so much with it if we want to heavily customize it. Look at all the choices they give us for the buttons right there. Same can be said for the other ones we'll, we'll show you. You can see some of the quick options, but then everything that we could do with it if we wanted, so many options. Also, let's look at the next tab, Easy Switch. You can see we're currently connected to the two computers but our third option is not paired. We can restore the defaults, or we can select more if we wanna learn more about this product. You can see backup software and analytics as well. So that's a quick look at the Logi software that you can use to customize your keyboard even further. It is optional software. You don't have to use it or download it to get your keyboard to work, and you don't even have to create a profile or account if you don't want to, to access this free software. So I went ahead and repeated the same steps to connect the keyboard to another computer here in my studio. This is what I see when I film my videos, guys. So I have one streaming and filming computer right here. Then I have one gaming computer with the other monitor. So they're now both connected to the same keyboard. So let's start with the left side. You can see I'm gonna just start typing a bunch of random characters. 
Everything's super responsive, very fluid, no issues to report back. Now let's go ahead, let's push the two button. And now we can start typing on the right side of the screen on that notepad document right there. Again, very responsive, very fluid. I'd say at the most it takes a second, probably about half a second to connect between the two, but very fast, very fluid. Why don't I go ahead just for fun, let's push the one input again and keep typing. And then you can see it on the screen there. That's how quick it is to switch between the two inputs right there. So here we go. We're going to do it again with the other side. So very, very responsive and fluid and very nice to type on this keyboard. But the convenience you get is for sure to be able to use one keyboard with multiple devices. So let me share with you guys my final thoughts after using this keyboard. This is a game changer for my studio and my needs. I don't know what I was doing years ago, not even thinking about looking up this option for a product. This is so nice to be able to connect to multiple devices and only have one keyboard. This is the old setup that I'm replacing right here. You can see I have two separate keyboards, one for each of my computers. It was a real pain to bring them in and out and trying to name files and access the computer for my recording and streaming and all that stuff. So I'm really happy that these are being replaced by just one simple, small and compact keyboard that's perfect for my needs. But with that being said, there are a couple of features I'd like to see added to this in the future. And you might be able to guess them by looking at my other keyboards. The first one is I do wish that this was a full size keyboard with our nice number pad off to the side. I like to use those more than you would think. And the second thing I'd like to see from this keyboard in the future, just having some fold up legs. I love being able to adjust the height of my keyboard. I typically always use them like this with the stand propped up. That's just my preference. I would rather have the stand and legs and not need them than need them, which I would like and not have them. Again, though, as you can see, it is angled and designed a little bit to prop itself up, which is nice, but I'd love to have the ability to bump it up even more. But again, very simple and compact. And the best feature hands down is the ability to use this between three devices. For my needs, I'll be using it between two devices and I am very, very happy and impressed. I like typing on this keyboard too. I was a little bit surprised by that because they are circular keys versus the square keys for my old keyboards, but I'm really happy with it. It's nice. It's uh, just got a good feel to it. I just can't explain it any other way. It's comfortable, it's easy to use, and it won't take me any time to get used to this. In regards to other buttons, features, and functionality, I don't use a lot of the other keyboard shortcuts like you see up here on this guy where we have, you know, mute, audio, home, email, calculator, all that stuff. So I'm not missing any features by this not having all those additional buttons. And honestly, I'd rather not pay for them either. So if that helps keep the cost down, I'm very happy with how they packed everything into this small form factor. Also really quickly, I wanted to point out too, I've paired it with the Logitech M720 mouse right here. And this is a fantastic choice to use if you're looking for a mouse to jump between three different inputs as well. It pairs very nicely with this keyboard. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.